All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we are back with the Outer Worlds. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's doing fine. Any word on Jesse? Good luck. The board's got an office on the promenade just before engineering. You can't miss it. Yep, I know. I've been meaning to head there for a little bit. Okay, we've got admin access, lovely. Back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really They're gonna arrest us. us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief June Lee's ship. You don't own shit here. They're not on the stairs. Ah, the board. Organized, efficient, competent. Well, mostly. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Uh, he's dead. Forget Alex. Why'd you impound my ship? Uh, I'm gonna wring your scrawny neck, you sprat fuck. Give me back my ship. It is important. I'm here to turn it. No. Um. Oh no. This is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Sorry for your loss. Forget Alex. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. Was he your boyfriend? He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Oh, <laughs> yep, he sure did. Ah, oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? Uh, he got crushed. He was eaten alive. Uh, he died in an escape pod accident. Trust me, you don't want to hear the details. You're quite right, of course. Best not to pry into such dismal things. Again, very sorry. Can we uh, get back to the topic at hand? Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> Mm -hmm. There, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? No. Uh, why is the board so interested in uh, Wells anyway? I know where Phineas Wells is. Alex never mentioned Phineas Wells. Why do you think I know anything about Wells? You haven't read the posters. He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. Well, Alex knew, or he said he did. And you have his ship. Maybe he kept some records around, or a conveniently placed note on his bedside table. That's, uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Yeah, one or two things. Uh, what's this about the board having your head? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. 
Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... well, it's my white whale, I suppose. It's fine, really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. I uh, know a couple of things. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Excuse me? That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? Uh, she's hiding in the sick bay to avoid assassins. Why well, I see it, she doesn't have much of a choice. I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? I think that's it. Ellie! Hey, what's this? Medical Bay. Oh, that's where I was. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right. That's nice, too. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Yeah. Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Hey, uh... You really don't like people owing, owing, owing people, do you? It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. Okay, well, welcome aboard. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Uh, just go to the ship. Traveling in style, are we? I'll be sure to nab a cabin with a view. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. Alright, uh, can we talk to you? Got word from Udom, from the hitman who trailed me the other night. Seems I'm indentured to the board now. I ain't too elated about going exclusive, but it's better than winding up dead. Yeah, it's better than having you sure saved my harvested. skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. Uh, watch yourself. And then she just walks straight into a wall. Okay, so how exactly did... Were we supposed to get that info for the vicar? terminal is that oh it just me or has it been deader than usual around here chief wants to reduce <coughs> <the> <coughs> 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 this is it security I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chip I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. Ah, uh, we need to find a way to get a security card. How is that stealing if it's just sitting right in front of him? Like a security card or some such. The board would like to remind spacers and 
other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. Canyons of Asin. Hmm. They're like, yeah, they're just right there. Um, let's save. Oh, we have a disguise. Oh shit. Here, let's uh let's do this. And what's more? You the new hire? Nice to meet you. Wait, where's there a terminal at? Maybe I do need to level up then uh which is lock picking is under this just just pour a bunch of stuff into it we're gonna pour a lot of other things into that and arranged and Let's see, damage when a lone party, walk speed. Wait, what is this? Nope. Carrying capacity, run speed, armor durability loss, base armor rating. Damn. Can I not reach this stuff? Plasma rifle, lovely. Just an axe. kind of stuck in here, aren't we? Oh my god. What? What was that? Hold it right there! Oh, shit. What do you think you're doing? Uh, persuade. Keep your hands to yourself. Okay. I still can't, uh... Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear... Okay, okay. Wait, bounties? Got a hot one for you. Captain Gunner McRed. Just 26 hours old. The posting, that is. Not the criminal. I was hoping so. Uh, allegations include several counts of flying under the influence, carrying open alcoholic containers, failure to pay docking fees, resisting arrest, and assaulting not one, but two officers. Yeah, I'll take it. Swerving in the air was more like it. Then he crashed hard into the dock and tumbled out of his ship and fled on foot. Spilled Rizzo's Violet Spectrum vodka all over Officer Hartley. An affront of its own, considering none of us are approved for anything higher than green spectrum. Right. Kicked one right in the kneecap while he poked the other in the eyes. McRed's lucky we're too backlogged right now to hunt him down ourselves. 
But if our resources clear up and we catch him before some contractor does, I fully plan to lock him in ISO with them two officers he wounded. Thinking he won't like that one bit. Wounded. Uh, and he leads? Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head. Or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. Thanks. I very much don't want to kill this man, because he did not do anything worthy of death. Alright, I know uh, Pravati wanted to uh, go over to engineering. So we'll do that. Hopefully that'll give us some XP enough to level up. And if not, then we'll just go get the bounty. Wait, I thought engineering was around here. Oh! Oh my god, I can see the heat waves. Are those XF-411s? And an old Yakita 3-7? Thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sub-level. Knock knock, hello. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. <laughs> okay. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. I don't want there to be any. <laughs> Copy that. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer's just passing through. Um, now that my ship's out of the Empire, I'm not going to safely head to Monarch. I need business. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Thanks. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual... Real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. <laughs> um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Wow, great. I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I oh should have said... Oh my god. Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. <laughs> Just whispered nice job. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Like the heat? Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Uh, why haven't you fixed it? I'm sure your capable staff uh, can stay ahead of the problem. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Uh, is there any room for compromise? Surely the board doesn't want Groundbreaker to roast. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Need help? Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Alright, uh, the back bays, am I supposed to know where that is? Sorry, I forgot not everyone knows this ship like I do. 
The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. Uh, you can't get these parts anywhere else? You must not have been here long. In Halcyon, new parts come by way of interstellar freighters from Earth, and the board monopolizes that kind of trade. That means I'd have to negotiate with the board. I've already given them the shops, the docking fees, and a damn embassy. Damn right. And while I'm captain of the Groundbreaker, it falls to me to preserve this ship's independence. All right, I'll get you the parts. Uh, we could try to talk this out with who was ever down there. Those idiots are immune to reason, and they don't much care if the station melts to pieces. They're content to die last. If you could find some way to solve this without violence, I'd prefer that. But more than anything, we need those parts. Yeah, content to die last? I know some people like that. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Okay. Um... What the hell was that? Oh. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Tossball Finals are... Oh great, they put it into a propaganda poster already. I did not mean to support corporate propaganda. Who the? Hey McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Uh, can I, can I talk to you? Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. No, no, none of that. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? <laughs> I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Right, persuade, uh, put that down before you incinerate the entire deck. I know this ain't a toy, neighbor from above. It's a catalyst, just like me. Keep talking. I like the sound of your voice. I don't like you saying that. Oh. Yeah, because you got the bounty. They turned a medical droid into a, uh, oh god. Really? One bullet in each of these? Oh god. Oh god, they're both down. How are they both down? Oh my god, where do you? None of that, please. Oh my god. Nope, nope, no, no, no. Uh, where are they? Can I revive them?
Okay. I think we're in the clear. Drug addiction. I haven't taken any drugs. What are you talking about? Good. What's this? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Where's his head, arms, and legs? That's just a random arm. Is it really stealing if everybody involved is dead? All right, so I need something to help me pick the locks. Or maybe just, you know, a good pass-through area. What's this? Lula is gonna be pleased as pie when we show her these. Okay. I can't just open the door from here. Yeet. <laughs> Somebody else is still alive and very mad at me. Huh. Can you imagine being frozen for 10 years, sailing through space in a room such as this? Oh, okay. All right, back up top. Even the proverbial unwashed masses would turn their noses up at this place. Or we'll cut them off. Just a giant reptilian creature that spits locusts at you? Fuck that. Alright, we're good. Got those radiator parts for you. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. Okay. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight mantipillar infestation. Thank you for that. Define slight. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. Okay. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Lovely. If every repair was a one-woman job, I wouldn't need an engineering team. As it is, my staff is busy keeping the station from melting down. You can flip a switch for me, but you can't install these parts. Not quickly, at least. Not on the first try. Able, though, you've proven to be. All right. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Down we go. in the clear it does not sound like it where is it probably upstairs
We've got a fight on our hands. I understand that, but it's not. Oh. Fix that. I think we're good on that. Sorry. Dead. Okay. Oh my. We're being ambushed from somewhere. Where exactly are we supposed to go? This way? No, we got, okay, so we have to go around for sure. Do we go down from here? I haven't seen no real way to go down. Oh, no. Okay. Take us through this door. Through this door. Take the elevator back up. As soon as we find it. Oh my god. I keep shattering my legs. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The Glad temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Glad to hear it, but I think uh, we'll talk to them later uh what's this about what's it like being a command frustrating everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty so i have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget oh yeah definitely Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand uh the ship is part of a family business sure is the tennysons came over on the groundbreaker my grandmother chief gang kept it together during the crossing and until she died I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from chief engineer to captain. 
They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Aww. Do it. <laughs> Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. <coughs> don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. Where's the self-destruct mechanism? Oh, my God. You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. You don't want any kids? Oh, okay. You've got my attention. Goodbye. All right, now to some of our other issues. What do I have to report to Gladys about? First of all, where's lock picking? Ah, uh, vendor prices. Crit chance, damage per flaw. <coughs> what about you, Vicar Max? CNP Borston Baked Bean. Oh, that looks like an abyss. Well, let's actually go up to security first. See if we can get through. Understood. I'll keep my head down. Wait, what's this? Oh god. I do believe it's this 30? Damn it. 30 out of 35. Shit. Lemon slap. Slap your whole family tonight. Lemon slap. Slap your whole family. My god. One down. Whoa! Are these free to take? Yes, they are. Can I? Can I? Nope. Don't reload. Please don't reload. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? No. Oh, wait a minute, that's right. Uh, that opportunity thing. Yes, dearie? Take that darling ship of yours down to Roseway, where that distress signal I told you about came from, and ferret out some tasty corporate secrets for old Gladys. Shouldn't be too tough for a lass like you, I'd think. 
Well, I've got my ship back, so definitely. Goodbye. Why is somebody... Why is some somebody or something hostile? But let's uh, go on the roseway then. Uh-oh, hello. Wait, can I not? Thank God. Really, y'all? Close the door. Jesus. Not gonna lock fix anything else anymore. Open. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Sorry, business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. With terrible jokes, yeah. I didn't quite catch that. Uh, you'll have to speak up. Glass ear? Sorry, there, there's a lot of static on my end. <laughs> Nothing to fear. Uh, sorry again. The sound of Groundbreaker's engines has really got to me over the years. Huh? What? Forget it. Huh. Now that I heard. Mm. Fine, as long as the board keeps its grubby mitts to itself. Chief Tennyson holds the ship together, the promenade holds our economy together, and Sublight is the shoddy jewel in our rusty old crown. Really? Our local garbage collectors. That Lilia Hagen never met a debris field she didn't like. She freely admits she planted her roots in Groundbreaker to escape board oversight. But I think there's more to it. She's unusual in the head, that one. How so? Or I guess I can't ask you about that, so I'll just keep moving. Let's just explore around a little bit more. Is this a bar? This is Halcyon Dune. We interrupt your regular... A new face. What's your pleasure, stranger? Some big shot down in Byzantium's holding auditions for a new adventure serial. So yay, another six of those next season. Okay. Thanks for that. I think that's the only you thing that we had not really one? seen, so... Let's get out of here. Heard from the last is down on twenty two. Is that uh yeah, that's Felix. What's up there, buddy? Having hey, fun? Second? Yeah, what's up? Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just Admiring your ship from up close. Uh -huh. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Pretty eager to throw in with somebody you barely know. Were you stalking me? What? No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, maybe a little. Excuse me? I'm not me? trying to be all creepy like, I just want to make a good case for myself. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. For enough Felix, you're hired. All right, Felix, tell me why I should hire you. Oh, okay. Well, uh, can you give me a couple of pointers? You're all over the place. Just be yourself. Don't beg. Tell me uh, why I need you on my crew. I'm looking for loyal bootlickers. Flatter me like your life depends on it. Sure, I can be myself. 
I can be myself better than anybody else in the system. You're looking for crew, I'm looking for a way off this port. So we've got something in common already. And yeah, I know I came on a little strong, but honestly, when was the last time anybody was so eager to throw in with you? That's got to count for something, right? Uh, if we're being perfectly honest, like, in-game time, maybe like a couple of days ago, because Pravati. Sure, an interview. That sounds fair. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask me anything you like. Uh, it's delicious. Oh my god. Mock apple pie and a triple kale crust. Maybe with a little cream on top. Classic. Perfect, you're hired. Uh, you any good in a fight? Are you kidding? I love a good fight. One time, I took an autoloader's head clean off its servos with one swing of a tossball stick. You can count on me in a scrap, boss. That's a promise. Okay. Foreman told me my biggest problem was that I didn't take orders. I told him my problem is not with authority, it's with jackasses. So yeah, I guess my biggest flaw is that I don't suffer idiots. Hope that's not a deal breaker. Alright, cool. Welcome aboard. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. I'd assume it was the five minute conversation. <laughs> I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is gonna be great. Really? We're picking up strays now? Oh, hush. Look at that. A real vicar. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get along like a church on fire. There we go. What what is this for? What does it do? Okay, so Pravati stays in here. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Do I look sick? Oh, she's like asking a question. Uh, is the ship about to blow up? Hold that thought, there's something I want to discuss. So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages, I got him here on my data pad, and well, yeah. she sent me a poem. Oh. When she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. Aww. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? Mm hmm It's not so good. But real sweet. Comes from the heart, you'd say? How bad can it be? Get to the point. Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. Made my chest hurt, kinda. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't, I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't. They said I was cold. Uh, you're about the warmest person I've ever met. Uh, hell to them. Could just be nerves. Everybody's different. Don't worry about it. That sorts of things. Plenty nice. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Jun Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay. Here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... who's Isabel? Everything okay? They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? 
Lost hope? Well, we haven't left yet, so we can. Great idea. Drinking solves everything. If you want, uh, next time we hit the ground, break drinks are on me. Are you sure you can hold your liquor? Don't think drinking is going to solve the problem. Wouldn't it be easier to talk to her about Isabel in person? Maybe for you. I start thinking about all the things she could say and my guts start crawling up my throat. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. Okay. That's nice. I want to see what she looks like drunk, so let's go. Uh, we're going to change... Ellie seems like she'd be fun at a bar. There we go. Where's the bar? Bar is further down. Hey. Might as well put the gun away. <laughs> this work do we get a table stand in a corner we can get a table I guess oh, just talk to her in it okay so <coughs> what are we drinking you're the expert oh and don't worry on the price I got this let's just do it proper okay you sure you want to do this you seem nervous I don't have that option so you're uh, new to the whole loosening up thing about wine. If you really want to get drunk, whiskey's efficient. Well, drunk's what I'm aiming for, so I'll take your word on it. Bottoms up. Didn't think you had it in you. I'm impressed. Oh, no, it's good. I'm, I'm fine. I just didn't expect it to taste like oh propellant. Oh, stars, I can feel it settling. Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Generally or specifically? Enjoying a drink with your friends? Huh. Yeah. I guess we are that, huh? Friends. Friends give each other counsel, right? What do you think I should do about June Lei? Because I feel about as aimless as an automac with a busted nav chip. I'd give you my advice, but if I'm being honest, you're probably better off following whatever the captain has to say. Okay, well, uh, start by telling me why her message got you unsettled. Beats me. <laughs> oh my god. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. No, uh, she probably did want you to know. Uh, what did she actually write in the message? You haven't said. No one sends terrible, vague, uh, terrible, vaguely sensual poetry to someone they don't like. Exactly. Takes a lot of trust to hand over that kind of blackmail material. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd call it uh, sensual. That's a lot. Poem implied you were. <laughs> uh, it's romantic, serial great stuff. What'd she actually write in the message? It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? Oh my god. Well, maybe... Maybe she just wanted to let me know her preferences. In a less awkward way. But that made it more awkward. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. <laughs> Water's for cowards! Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration... Here I come. Aw, this was just about to get fun. Shush you. 
<laughs> oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. Don't be scared. Uh... Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we we get together and she gets bored of me? Oh, sweetheart. Fuck if I... No, I'm not... Don't stop there, you're on a roll. No wonder you're scared. There's an easy way to get all these answers. There's nothing easy about... About spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. Of course not, but you, you know gotta... I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? Uh, then you go your separate ways. Uh, we have that in common, you know. Um, uh, are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? Of course. Wouldn't you be? Everyone is, no matter the quirks. Huh. I'd never thought of it that way. I wonder what June's afraid of being rejected for. She seems perfect to me. Maybe those are just my rosish colored goggles talking. To be strong like her. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. Something to work on then, we all do. So what? Well, I suppose so, but I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person, worth caring for. Then work on it. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Uh, so are you gonna ask her out? Oh, gosh. I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Aw, not a problem. This was fun. We should do it again after you send that message. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. We got Come the on, ship. Let's go. I mean, we do have the ship. We're also not gonna go on interrogating her about every fucking message she sends. Oh my god. Uh, let's go back to the ship. Come on. Another freighter. Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? My car. Did he set up that crate that was right there, Felix? Well, okay, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. We're back on the ship, and I think it's about time. We are. Uh, well, A, we're going to mess with Parvati next. Uh, B, I think we might talk to everybody else in the crew again. And C, head to go do whatever that is for Gladys again. So I thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, Citizens of the Empire. I hope you enjoyed. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.